Okay, this is Matthew Rose. We're an 18 year old kid who lives in London at home with their parents. We're unemployed and our dream is to become a professional footballer. We're currently a youth player for EFL League 2 side Salford City and we play as a box to box midfielder. And having just turned 18, Salford City manager Neil Wood has invited us to train with the first team to see if we're good enough to become a professional footballer. And we just got news that Salford City co-owners Gary Neville and David Beckham will be in attendance for this season's first training session. This is the biggest moment of our life and we're freaking out. Like if we don't play good enough, don't get signed to a professional contract, our dream will be lost and we'll be forced to go work at McDonald's. Like this is our one chance. We just can't mess this up. Yep, that is right. Welcome to our brand new FIFA 23 My Player Career Mode series. And you have never seen a My Player like this. We're going to see the life of Matthew Rose on and off the pitch with storylines, life and career decisions, family, and ultimately trying to achieve our dream of becoming a professional footballer. So Matthew Rose, an 18 year old midfielder from London, 5'10 height. We're box to box. So we defend, we attack, we score goals, we assist, intercept preventing goals the whole midfield that is our role like pretty much just an all-rounder if you guys like the sound of that and want to see more of this then drop this video a like down below it's time for the biggest moment of matthew rose's life all right today is the day we woke up ate a great breakfast okay not that great we did some push-ups looked into our own soul trying to prepare ourselves for the biggest training session of our life but it's time we grabbed our stuff said bye to the parents and head off for training now the main events for today are two 11 v 11 training matches at salford city stadium it's free attendance for fans one in the morning, one at night. But first, we got some warm-up drills to run. We got through passing, attacking scenarios, and also defending scenarios. All right, so through passing, pass to our teammate, and the teammate has to score. See, it sounds pretty simple. It's our passing, our through passing. As a midfielder, we got to be able to play in the strikers, wingers, and allow them to score. And we got to show the manager we can pass. That's the first thing you got to show as a midfielder. All right, one more. Into our teammate. Our teammate's going to score. We did pretty well in that drill. Passing was one of our best stats to start, so we got an A on that one. All right, next one, attacking scenario. It's pretty simple. Just uh, score the ball. It's about working with your teammate, teammates, being unselfish, making the right pass, and also scoring. Uh, we, just, we just embarrassed ourselves right there. Matthew into teammate. It's going to be Smith. Smith, easy goal. This is just a warm-up for the real thing happens. There's a slight warm-up. Let's see if Matthew can score right in front of goal. Matthew, can you put it in the back of the net? That's a very decent strike right there. Smith into Rose, tap in. There's another goal right there. We gotta be on that one. Now comes our least uh, strong attribute defending. We're box to box mid. We're definitely more balanced towards the attacking side. But if we wanna be a professional footballer, be a professional midfielder, you gotta be able to defend and attack both ways. You gotta be able to do stuff just like that. And also timely tackles. That was pretty, actually we just fouled him. That wasn't so good. This is the first time we're ever playing with actual an actual first team. We've only been playing with the under 17 squad, under 16 squad. These are grown men that Matthew, we are playing with. Okay, that's gonna be a goal. Didn't defend well there at all. I mean, it's still Salford City. It's it's still League Two quality, but it's just a whole another beast for us. Yeah, see, like our defending, it's got to get better. The manager is seeing our weak spot right now. Yeah, we get an F on that drill. All right, we head off to the stadium now. It's time for the main event: an open doors training match with club owners David Beckham and Gary Neville in the stands watching. We are starting in the midfield for Team B, wearing black. Like this is our chance to prove to the manager we are ready to become a professional footballer. All right, we got a lot of Salford fans that showed up. The attendance was free, like free tickets to watch. Basically, the first team play the second team a versus b team so our team is for the players who aren't quite as good and it's our first actual time playing with like the first team like these are grown men we're playing with right now so a training match number one it's like 12 p.m kicks off and we show the manager we belong here we belong to be a professional footballer yeah that wasn't that wasn't a great start now the expectation is uh team a to beat team b for us to lose all right matthew rose decent pass out to the left back we know we can do a lot of things but we don't exactly know what kind of player we are yet all right matthew rose good touch can we lay off to a teammate maybe teammates in a better spot to shoot it's going to be Loon with the shot right at the keeper. I mean, not a bad attack initiated by Matthew Rose. All right, A team is about to score. Actually, keeper makes the save. I mean, everyone's fighting for game time right now. But we're fighting for an actual contract. That's what we're fighting for. All right, team A might score here. Team A are going to hit the post. Almost make it 1-0. Now, once again, defending is not our strong suit. So we're at top of the box here. It's one thing we definitely got to get better at. That is for sure. Into the box. Okay, what a great save for the keeper. This keeper is showing out. Okay, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Blocking the midfield. We were there blocking that with three other teammates. All right, Matthew Rose dribbles around a few, gets to the left winger. Are they going to finally score? They hit the post again. This A team, they're shooting. They didn't bring the shooting boots today. Soon as we say that, they are finally going to score. The A team, the red team scores. 28th minute, our team is down 1-0. Now, we haven't played bad so far, but we haven't really uh, stood out yet. Are we going to get our team going a little bit? So, we're going we're gonna to move the ball, get on the run. Matthew Rose into the box. Matthew Rose, chance to score his first goal. The shot 
Hits the post. We almost just scored. Hey, we made a very good run there. Just the ball would not go into the back of the net. All right, that is halftime. So the best chance for Team B goes to Matthew Rose. But off the post, could not score the goal. Obviously, there was a lot of nerves here. Like, this is the biggest game of our life that first half. It was kind of timid, a little bit nervous. We had a good moment, though, towards the end. Now, second half, can we build on that final chance and actually make something happen in this game? All right, Team A is going to score again. The defense is struggling. It's not really our fault. The center backs are not really marking uh, Team A's forward. So we are now down 2-0. All right, Rose and this left winger have a little bit of chemistry going. That's going to be into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose chance to score. He gets tackled from behind. Ball goes right to him though. Rose, a second chance to score and Matthew Rose is going to score in front of the Salford fans, in front of David Beckham, Gary Neville, the 18 year old scores in his first time playing with the senior squad. Now the first shot was a decent attempt, but ball goes back to him. He's got composure in the box. Goes to his left, right footed shot into the corner for Matthew Rose. A Neil Wood in the side right now has got to be a little bit impressed with that because Matthew Rose just got his, uh, the B team back in this game. All right, let's see Rose switch the play as a midfielder. Oh, Matthew Rose, that pass is so good. That was Steven Gerrard-esque. I think even we were a little surprised that we actually got that pass off. Defense, though, still having so many issues. This game is 3-1. All right, Matthew Rose finds the left winger in space. He's doing a good job of finding his teammates. Once again, Matthew Rose finding his teammate in spots. They can't attack, though. This is a decent attack. Left winger is going to be so offside. As a midfielder, we're doing our job right now, though. Like, we're trying to get back to defend, trying to find those spaces right now. We're in the box, and, I mean, we were blocking that pass, the striker at least. And Team A has scored again. So this is 4-1. Now we're happy with the goal, but the way our team is performing, we're worried that uh, that our goal is going to be lost and how bad the whole entire team is played. Like, wouldn't even know if the manager's watching us if he's seeing the things we're seeing. Although, it could be in again. That's going to be out to the left winger. Ball into a Galbraith, and he's going to score again. 5-1. That's what this game is. I mean, in our opinion, we're the one bright spot in this team, but we don't know if the manager sees that. All right, that's going to be it for the first training match. Full-time whistle, Team A wins. I mean, we scored a good goal. We did defensive work. We had a good passing. We had a 7.2 match rating. I mean, like I said, we think we played good, but we don't know. As we walk off, our teammates are congratulating us on our first game with the first team. Like, once again, no more youth players, no more kids. We're playing with actual grown men. Now, this is just League 2, but we played with professional footballers, and we scored and played pretty good ourselves. Like, 96 pass accuracy. So, manager Neil Wood calls us over and tells us that he's impressed with our performance and he tells us that he really wants to see more tonight from us in game number two later on so we get showered up we get cleaned up we get back home for a short break for the next training match and now we're feeling so many emotions like we're happy with the way we play the manager seemed happy with us but now we're worried if we can actually have another good game tonight because i mean if we don't then it'll just look like that first game was a fluke and like that goal we scored was just lucky we got two hours to kill so of course we played some fifa we ate dinner and after we we had some issues and just like that it was time to go again we left to go to the second training match Match scheduled for 8 p.m. Now, as we arrive at the stadium, we notice that David Beckham is still at the stadium. We ask our teammate Elliot if he was supposed to be at the night match too, and he says no, they did not expect him to be there for game number two. Now, Gary Neville has left, but Beckham is sitting with another guy we don't recognize. But anyways, can't focus on that. Like the match is about to start. Now, this time Neil Wood has put us with the A team, so we're starting midfield for Team A Red. Now we have to show that first game wasn't just a fluke. We have to show that we are ready for this. All right, game number two begins the night game. If we play good here, there's a very good chance we're gonna be having with the outcome so game number two kicked off we need to play good again we can't play bad and once again we're playing with the a team now we're playing with the starters pretty much all right mckelney into into matthew rose into morton and just like that matthew rose has an assist team a goes up one nil immediately and rose was the one to play in the striker and he scores could not be a better start than that i mean we're in a very good attacking mid spot there and Play the striker. It's a good shot. We played our midfield right there like to a T. That was perfect. We need to keep it up though. Ball working around the box. Matthew Rose on it. Okay, that was a heavy touch. There is a bit of the rawness in our talent right there. Okay, good move by Team B, and they score. Okay, this game is 1-1. Team B does not want to lose again. 14 minutes in, it's already 1-1. It's already and it's going to be 2-0. Okay, Team B is coming out firing. Now, we can't lose both of the training matches today. If we do that, it's going to look very bad on us. Like, we are with the starters. we got to win this game. All right, Rose is making a run for the midfield. We are on a one-on-one -on -one situation for maybe our second goal of the day. And we put that away like a striker. Game number two, we score again and equalize this game for our team. Like, we look like a striker right there. We took that so well. Neil Wood, are you watching right now? Are we playing good enough to actually secure ourselves a contract? We got a goal and an assist to our name already in game number two. All right, Rose, good pass out to the winger. Ball's played out wide to the right back. We're in, we're in a good spot here to support. Into, into Rose. 
Back heel to McAllenny, and we just got another assist, and that was a back heel. We are absolutely showing out right now. Like, biggest game of our life, and we're showing what we're capable of. Look at the back heel into our left winger, and he scores. Three goals, we were involved in all each of them so far. One goal and two assists right now. Now, internally, we are freaking out. We gotta just stay calm and keep playing, though. We gotta act like we've been here before, even though we have not. All right, that's first half, so 3-2 score. And we've got one goal and two assists right now. Now, at halftime, walking away off the pitch, we can't help but notice that David Beckham has gone up to Neil Wood, and they're talking. I mean, we have no clue what they're talking about but we did make a mental note that Beckham did say something to Neil Wood and before we know it second half is kicked off so I mean we are playing amazing in this game right now we just gotta somehow try and keep it up now we gotta focus on winning this game because if we don't it's gonna be bad and the game is 3-3 49th minute it's all tied up once again all right we're gonna small forward into Matthew Rose Matthew Rose chance to shoot Matthew Rose just hit a finesse shot and hit the crossbar. And that's something we've been practicing, but I mean, we didn't think we'd actually pull it off that well in a game, especially the biggest game of our life. All right, Matthew Rose, great ball out wide, right back. Gonna swing it in. It's into Matthew Rose. What a volley attempt. We are continuing our play from the first half. All right, manager wants to see us actually take a corner. Now we don't usually, but we're pretty much an all-rounder, so we probably can make this uh, not the worst. Actually, actually, not bad delivery from us. Neil Woods like, hey, go ahead, go take another one. Corner lofted in, and that is not gonna be as good as the first. All out to Matthew Rose, though. All right, what kind of cross we got from here? Actually, a great cross. No one gets to it, though. Ball into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot. Oh, man, we are so close to our second goal right now. All right, we're defending in the middle here. We're trying to do our work uh, blocking the passing lanes, but... When our center backs aren't even doing that, what are we supposed to do? Like, we're fighting for a contract. Everyone else, I guess, in this team, the, the A team, is just relaxed. We're fighting for our professional football life right now. So we're trying to defend. We were almost that block. We are not going to clear that, but the keeper saves it. Okay, that was almost a very bad moment for us. Like, we don't want to make Neil Wood question our defending ability, even though he probably should. Into the box. We're looking for this pass. We almost blocked that one. We were there for it, though. And Team B scores again. It's 4-3 off a corner. Yeah, I mean, after the astounding win in the first game, I feel like the A-team, they're a little bit clocked out right now. But once again, we're fighting for our life right now. Rose, trying to get into the striker. Can't do it there, though. All right, Matthew Rose. Chance for an absolute long shot. And Matthew Rose has just scored the goal of the day. How did we even score that? Where did that come from? We take this pass and we just channeled, like, Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard, all the other great English midfielders. We channeled them. And we just scored an absolute banger in front of David Beckham. We were having the game of our life in game number two. 79th minute. This game is 4-4. We got two goals. We got two assists from the midfield. Ball into the box, and Team B is going to score again. These center backs are not helping our reputation here. Like, hey, we're playing great, but we can't help but think we might be on the losing end of both games today. Like, that just doesn't look good. So we are fighting for this. Morton into Matthew Rose. Can't get that. That could have been a chance tied up again. All right, Matthew Rose out to the left back. Can he get it back to Matthew Rose? Matthew Rose tries. Didn't get to the right mirror. Can't do it. We're trying to show that we're not selfish at all. Final minute. Can Team A find this equalizer? Bailey. He's going to try to find a pass. He's going to pass it back. Can't quite get it to his teammate. We got one minute left at the time. Can we tie this game up as a team? Our right winger gives everything into the striker. Can't quite get it to him. And that's going to be full time. So we're going to lose 5-4. So we were on the losing end of both games today. We played great, but like I said, we can't help but think about that. Like, that does not look good at all. On the bright side, we had two goals and two assists. An absolute banger in front of an English legend. But that's the game. That's it. Like, we weren't quite sure we could pull it off again, but we did. And even better this time. Teammates congratulate us more. And once again, Neil Wood calls us over to chat now he tells us how impressed he is with us and how we played and that Salford's management team should have a contract ready to sign within the next few days he's that confident in us like we just basically secured our first professional contract but before we could even thank him Neil tells us he has some friends that really want to talk to us next thing we know David Beckham introduces himself to us one of the greatest English footballers of all time wants to talk with us he introduces his friend who we did not recognize Steve McLaren current assistant manager of Manchester United and Beckham tells us that they both are impressed with our play and if we're interested could maybe get us a trial for manchester united's under 21 squad now we were just told we might have a Salford city contract within the next few days but come on efl league 2 compared to the premier league even if it's just an under 21 squad like we know the difference there there's a huge gap we of course say yes we are interested and beckham tells us to keep our phone close that we should be receiving a call within the next few days and then we should start packing for a small trip to manchester we might have a chance to get signed by manchester united so we head home we shower and and we hop in bed but we're just unable to sleep so we just stare at the ceiling and wonder is this the start of our professional footballing career all right if you guys enjoyed that then let me know by dropping a like on this video especially if you like this you want to see more of it like there's a lot planned this series could be special but also with that sub button down below click on the screen if you want to watch the latest venezia crimin episode and as always hope you have a great day